everybody, welcome back to the Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks channel. My name is Leon Chen and today we have something very special for you guys. Right now we're at the Gigabyte headquarters located in Taipei, Taiwan and we're going to show you what Gigabyte does differently with our motherboards compared to those of other manufacturers out in the field. We're going to show how we evaluate for compatibility and stability with different hardware manufacturers so you guys get the best experience when you guys are using one of these boards. In front of me, I have a test bed of 16 different systems, each fully configured with a variety of components from memory manufacturers such as A-Data, Corsair, Crucial, or even Kingston, and hardware and hard drive manufacturers from Western Digital or Seagate. Same for power supply. On this test bench, it's actually focused purely for the Quattro cards, and there's actually a variety of four different Quattro cards on this test bed here. In a few moments, we're going to have some of our engineers help push this cart into this temperature controlled room and we're going to show you the different tests that we go through on our systems and we're going to talk about the room itself as well as how hot it is inside. So now we have our engineers here actually getting this test bed set up. They're actually going to set each individual system to specific benchmarks and each of these benchmark tests will run for a set number of hours and there are actually a few different benchmarks that they have to go through. In total, these motherboards, each motherboard will actually run uh, a benchmark test for about two to three days. Now, in a few moments, they're gonna push it into this temperature controlled room, which runs at about 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which is actually pretty hot for a summer's day. This room behind us is actually a temperature controlled room that was developed purely by Gigabyte and it has a lot of certain patents that go along with it from how we have the systems rolled in to the power as well as the temperature control overall. Alright guys, it's a little bit loud in here. We have the heater blowing, we have the fans pushing that heat throughout this room. Now, you can see we have the system running right behind me, and these are the 16 systems we pushed in earlier. Now, just to give you guys a feeling of what it's at, I have a little thermometer here, and we can actually see the peak temperature runs about 65 degrees Celsius to about 50 degrees for a system that's actually running the benchmarks. Now that's about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We said the room runs about 50 degrees Celsius, which is about 122. So it's actually really hot in here at this moment. Um, overall, this is a good feel for you guys to actually see the different tests that we run. And like I mentioned earlier, all of these systems fully configured with a variety of different components that we see out in the market. And they'll sit on these test beds for about two to three days running different benchmarks to stress the system to make sure that it can run at the high temperature levels that you guys might see in a smaller compact computer case. Now, we're gonna take you guys over to our other system over there that can test humidity and a variance of temperatures as well. So let's go over there and see what we have. All right guys, now that we've left that testing area which is almost as hot as the desert, we find ourselves in another testing area as cold as the Arctic. Now. The previous area where we were in, it tested motherboards at 50 degrees Celsius, which is about 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and we could do about 16 boards per cart, and the whole setup allows us to do about 100 boards total. Now we tested for press, uh, benchmark tests with various benchmarks, and we tested for power on off, power restart, as well as power resume. Now this system next to me allows us to do almost everything we could do there, but we've added an element into the mix. We're now able to test with humidity. So the test you see us running right now will test at a high temperature, 50 degrees Celsius, and at 90% 90, 90 humidity, and we'll drop it all the way down to negative 10 degrees Celsius, which is about 12 degrees Fahrenheit, where you can actually freeze a bowl of water if it were inside. And we'll test that and the transition between it along with some of the power. So we'll do the power test as well. And as you can see, we're actually using a specialized power supply that you can actually modify the voltages. And we've actually modified it so we have a margin of about 7%.
So in certain regions, if your power isn't as stable, you can actually still power the board. Now, I'm gonna open the system up for you and then we'll look at some of the historical data that we've ran before so you can actually see the transition from that high temperature to the lower temperature as well. Overall, in this case, it's very similar to a refrigerator and you can see we do have two systems running with the Quattro cards and they're using various gigabyte motherboards. This is also where we test with different configurations. So again, we have different Quattro cards, different motherboards, as well as different memory on the board. And we'll test all of these things to evaluate compatibility as well as stability for the gigabyte platform. And right here, let me just close this up so you guys can have a better look. You can actually see when we switch from the different monitors, the temperature, we can see the temperature change and you can see the test where we're testing at negative 10 degrees Celsius for four hours. And then we have a short 10 minute transition from the negative 10 degrees Celsius to the 50 degrees Celsius. And then it runs for another four hours and switches back. Now this allows us to see if there's any issues coming out from the board or the compatibility between the two components during this time frame. This test will usually take us about 16 hours to complete and we'll do it with multiple boards and along with multiple configurations. Overall, you can actually also see the settings that we had previously from our last run, historical data. And you can actually see right here the variance from the high temperature to the low temperature, as well as the high humidity to the low humidity. And this ranges across the 24 hour span. So on this historical data, we actually ran the test a little bit longer than we needed to, just to make sure that everything was okay. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little video that we showed for our Gigabyte RD team back at our Taiwan headquarters. And hopefully you guys join us for more next time. If you guys have any comments, please place it below. Also, if you guys haven't liked and subscribed the Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks channel so you can find out more information in the year to come of what Gigabyte's doing to set ourselves apart from the other, other motherboard manufacturers. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.